Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video, another AFL Evolution 2 video, and another one of these 2021 Teams videos. Uh, this one, of course, is on Carlton. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the previous two of the Adelaide Crows and the Brisbane Lions. Um, on this one, of course, is the Blues. Um, let's go straight into it here. Um, of course... We all, we, you, you guys all know, we all know, I know already what, what Carlton's activity was during this past trade period. If you haven't, then how, how many years have been living under a rock? Um, yeah, so they got in, of course, they got in Adam Saad, they got in Zach Williams, as you see there. Um, it, it, yeah, and... And Keefe, of course, all the others uh, as well. So, so let's get to it. Here. So, let's start with the back line here. Um, it, it, uh, the only change is that this guy here, uh, Adam Saad, has moved into moved into the half back line. I mean, I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that half back line. I mean, Doherty, Weering, and Saad. Both, both of them are at eight, both of them 86, 88, 86, and 86 rating uh, in the in game. Uh, that is just um, that is just unbelievable. Um, and of course, the fullback line, of course, of, of course with Nick Newman. Um, I was going to put Marchbank in, in in its center half, in its center half back and put Weedering, um in the back pocket, but I decided you know let's put Nick Newman in there just make it more even. Put Jack Noons in there, of course. The, of course, the heroes you all know, uh, with the goal that he scored against Fremantle uh, this past season. Um, one, probably one of the contenders for goal of the year. Probably one of the best goal scorers of the siren you'll ever see. Uh, he's in the back pocket as well. But yeah, that is just, that's just, in in this game. That is a very le that is a very lethal um, back line of it. If uh, if you if you discount Nick Newman there, who was seventy nine rating, um, you got Jones who's eighty seven rated in this in in, in AFL Evolution two. You got Jack Noons who in 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 this position currently, which is right back pocket, is eighty rating, is eighty. Then you got Doherty who's eighty eight, Weedering who's eighty six. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't know why Weedering's eighty six. He's probably he's one. He's probably he's not. Not totally overrated, but I believe he's a little bit overrated in my opinion. And Adam Sard, as you you guys all know, um, yeah, as you guys all know, yeah, he's gone from Essendon to Carlton, of course. Um, so yeah, then we go to the midfield here. A uh, couple of changes here, of course. We got another another recruit in Zach Williams. I was going to put him on, the, uh, put him um, alongside Sard in the half back line, but I decided, you know what. Let's do. Let's try and be realistic here. So I put him in the midfield, um, the midfield alongside Murphy Cripps. Uh, I've, that meant, unfortunately, I moved Sam Walsh out. It had to move out to the wing. He was originally um, in as a figure. He was Ruck Rover where Williams was. Now I've pushed him out to the wing. I think he'll play more wing time next season. Is Sam Walsh? Uh, of course, Fisher. But Zach Fisher, obviously, and of course, Cripp up. Obviously, in the centre, of course. Um, Mark Pinnett, um, I believe, um, will be the new number one ruckman for Carl now that uh, Matthew Cruz uh, has, 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 is now retired. Um, yeah, and then the forward line, obviously, 110%. This is not going to look like this at the start of the season because this guy here injured his, injured his knee again uh, in Charlie Kerno. Um, but uh, but this is the best twenty two. This is the best twenty two without people being injured. So yeah, so I've added him in there. But hundred percent, hundred ten percent sure he won't be playing. Um, probably for all twenty twenty one. Now that he now that he, as I said he's injured, he's bugging up his knee. Um, Eddie Betts, of course, who's who's uh, who looks like it looks like he's getting better, like he's getting better with age. Uh, the little man. Um, it, uh, it, 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 yeah, but I twenty twenty one might be his final year. Who knows if he, if he will if at the end of twenty twenty one he will go around again for twenty twenty two. But uh, who know who knows? 
with, with that, um, about that. Uh, Harry Mackay, and of course, and of course Sam Petrasky Seaton, uh, the bench. Um, of course, we got um, Marchbank. I decided to put him on the bench for this. In this, um, then Ed Kurt and then Ed Kerno, um, Paddy Dow, who I was originally gonna put him in, put him in, in, in probably in the midfield, but um, but I decided, you know, now that with Williams in there, I think it's time uh, it shifted him out to the bench, and of course Levi Caswell, who most likely will be the it will be will be uh, doing it will be doing the Kerno stuff. Uh, the Charlie Kerno stuff next season. Now, of course, I said for the last time and for for the final time in this video, um, Kerno bugging up his knee. Um, so yeah, but on the bench as well, uh, but on the reserves list as well, of course, you've got Lockie Fogarty who came across from Geelong. Um, you got you got Sedlerfield. You got you got all all, the, all these guys who, of course, you got Jack Silvani, obviously. Um, and Lockie Plowman as well, he unfortunately got, um, and also Matthew Kennedy as well, um, in my opinion, have been, have been pushed out because of, um, better players, of course, uh, uh, better players being good enough to play in that, uh, in this side as well. So, uh, that's enough for me for the, for this commentary, um... In in this uh, what you call episode, um, I will be uh, of course the usual thing. I'll be I'll be showing you guys the Guernsey numbers uh, and the, and the changes of uh, Guernsey number changes I've made, uh, and of course some gameplay obviously as usual. Um, but uh, yeah, but the next episode obviously of course going to be uh, Collingwood and gee it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be fun it's going to be fun doing doing them after. Uh, after all the business that, that all the all the as I call negative business trade negative trade business that they endured. So yeah, so yeah. So but until next time, until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later and enjoy the rest of rest of this rest of this video. Anthony Hudson with you, coming to you live from the NCG. They've turned on the weather here in Melbourne. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. Hi, Hanno. Really excited about this one today. A practice match on the bill today as these two sides test each other out. Carl's have set to take on the power in this exhibition match today. Kicking to the right of school. Fans at both sides are waiting this way. And here we go. It's Carlton taking on Gippsland. With the ball is pit net.
Looks to move it by foot. Saad with a clean collect. He gets his hands on the footy. Pushes through with power. Great mark out of pressure. 20 metres from home. The umpire is set to bounce to restart the game. Has a man running for him. Handball's under pressure. Is accepted. Casbolt runs out of the field. Now it's a baller. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Bets the mark. Plays on quickly. Probing kick inside the 50. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Wild shape for number one. Sends it home. He's excited about that one. Carls have kicked the last two goals. The margin is 12. Punches are clear. Doing well was Williams. Hits him hard. Hit the man hard. Charges with intense. Contest the hard ball. Umpire calls for the ball. Guides it down. Williams puts it out in front. He's got the football now. Practicing some fancy moves. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Penetrating handball. Did well not to confuse himself. Saad collects the loose ball. Saad was taken high in the tackle. Drives the kick hard. Wiedering runs after this one. I think it's got the legs. It's there. That's his first. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around, Jack? Kick flag. Throw on the ball. Back with another centre bounce. One it down. Up for grabs for Murphy. Dives away through. Kerno drops the mark. Bets gains possession. Ends up marking up to test him. 15 metres out. Looking to kick. Goal number two. The car could be happy with that goal. Carlton are going to return to Dolphins now. They lead 13 to 6. Slapped away. Gets away. Finds his man. Doesn't take the mark. Taken well at ground level by Murphy. McKay marks. 35 metres out. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Gets him reward for his efforts. Carlton could come out and start it well and show them they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Both sides might want to work on their defence after a high scoring opening too. It's quite simple. Carlton won more of the ball and they've been able to create more opportunities in front of goal. Thanks for that. We're ready for second quarter action. Back in the middle now. Punches it clear. He has the ball. Manufactures the handball. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Pitnick spears the ball. Mugabe kicks in heavy traffic. McCann takes the mark. Beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 30 to 6. 
There'll be a ball up in the center square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Nobody can hold on here. Scoops up the ball. It'll be a ball up. Clears the contest. Elects to kick. Fisher collects it. He slams it towards goal. A good mark under the circumstances. 20 metres out. Good chance from here for Curdo. Going for goal on the run. into the pocket. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. A chance to gather the ball. Gets it away. Quick hands and they could be away here. Martin just handballs into space. Good mark there. Controlled the play well and deserved this lead at halftime. Anything to add, Gaz? Gippsland are creating plenty of chances from turnover. They just need to generate that into more scoring opportunities to be a big chance. Thanks, Gaz. It's halftime and no doubt the coaches will want to have a chat to their teams about their first half performance. Second half action about to commence. We're back in motion. Hammers it. Is in his possession. Dug it out. Murphy quickly onto the boot. Good luck, Bob. Opportunity once again for Carlton to put one through. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. He kicks that goal with purpose. Just the crowd, the Blues bleed Gibson, 55 to 6. Umpire ready to resume play. Tap down. Showed good control. Pretty lucky to get that free. Moved on by Fisher. Takes that one strongly. McGovern plays it on. Open opportunity for Tesky Seaton. Out on the ball. Goes with the kick. The ball spills from the tackle. With the ball now. Hit the man hard. Swooping handball. There's a man running for it. Steady hands there. It's a hold back. Balls handballs to no one in particular. There's a runner alongside him. Fence will be upset with that. The ball spills in the tackle. Has it now. He's got the footy in his hands. Off hands from Dow. Rushes with the kick. 
Get a ball up on the wing. Right now, I've only seen one team really putting their all into this contest. Just put it on the boot. Can't take the mark. Squeezes out a handball. Chose to kick it. Pack the the mark in contest. Slams it on the boot. Blair gets on the end of it. Moves it back foot, gives away a freaker in the back. With a driving kick, doing well with the mark. Moves the ball back, the cloud trailing by 56. The Blues believe they can win this game, it's time to show. The forwards starting to take control of this game. Plenty of goals in that quarter. Continues to dominate this contest. He is dominating this game. One quarter of footy to go. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. About to resume play. Pitnick won the hit out. All kinds of pressure being applied. Great tackling technique. Releases the handball, goes for the guard. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. It's home, and that goal with a spark. They get around him after that effort. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Carlton are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Picked up now. The ball spills to Gavin. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Murphy can link up through hands. Pitness puts it up. Pitness, free kick. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. 30 metres out. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. Pitness takes aim. Can't be happy about that. This kick was the third end of the line. Look at it. He really enjoyed that one. The margin is 56. Kurnak got in the better position. Difficult ball control. Umpire penalises him. And it'll be a free kick. Constricted by Fisher. Constant pressure and rewarded. Chips it towards half forward. Over to the top he comes. Strong man. Here's a chance for Vance. Going for goal number one. Carlton finds a way to put that one through. That pushes the lead further out. Vance celebrates with the fans. Carlton have kicked the last two goals. The margin is 62. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Kerner channels a long kick. Fighting the loose ball. Down. Seen plenty of it. 
We resume hostilities. One down, takes possession. Penetrating handball, got the hands free. Ball gets cut off. Chose to kick it. McKay might have overworked himself there. Got the hands free. Receives the handball and takes off. Bets sends the drop down the drive. Second goal in the bag. This one gives them a big lead. Look at them celebrate that effort. Center bounce. Pitney thrashes it with the ball now. He's got nothing in his hands. Try to avoid everything out there. Kerno put himself a free. Looks to move it by foot. Great mark. Goes by foot. Easily takes the run. Slams it on the boot. Finds a target. He drives it towards goal. No issues with that target. Smiles all round. Carlton have kicked the last five goals. Building a nice lead. Running out of time now in this match. Quickly onto the boot. Great mark in the pack. Searches for a teammate downfield. Mark will be paid. McGarvey plays on. The game never reached any great heights. And in there, there's a bit of a one-sided affair. Guess what really stood out for you today? Carlton just know how to play together. It's been a solid team performance and they can reap the rewards. Cheers, guys. Carlton defeated Gippsland 92 to 12 at the final siren. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.